Greetings gardeners, it's Amanda coming to you from the GardenWorks Project where we support and educate all food growers in their efforts to nourish their families and neighbors in need. Um, so today I want to take a second and show you how I thin out my seedlings. Um, right now it's towards the end of May. Um, uh, so this is an update to when I planted these Swiss chard seeds in the ground, direct sow, um, in April. So here we are about you know six weeks a month six weeks later um, as i mentioned in that video in each little hole i put about um, three or four seeds so when i talked about playing the odds you have to assume that at least one of the seeds may not germinate it may just be a dud another one just may not make it through the ground in this little section here um, three of the seeds germinated now if i were to leave these three here they would crowd each other out and none of them would be particularly healthy so i need to get two of these out of here so that they can then really thrive. So um, you want to find, pick out which one is kind of the best of the bunch. I'm going to say it's this one. And then you have to get Darwinian and take out the less uh, <laughs> prosperous uh, seedlings. So here, again, I don't want to pull it out because I don't want to disrupt the existing root system. I'm just going to use my thumbnail and pinch. Pinch. Right? So now this one is going to come up, and this is going to get to probably two and a half, two feet tall of these beautiful um, leaves and, the, and bright flaming red um, ribs, basically. Here's another cluster, um, and this is bright light. So you can see um, they come in all colors, yellow, orange, bright red. A lot of these are uh, germinated, so I'm going to make sure to leave this orange one so we have some color. And I'm going to take out the others. This guy's going to go. This guy's going to go. Bye. I'm actually going to come back in a couple days and see which one of these two is the strongest. I wanted to give that yellow one a chance to, to make it to the next, the next, uh, next level. So there we are. Here's another one here, only two of them, two of these uh, germinated. I'm going to take this guy out. And there you have it. So that is um, thinning. This is called thinning your seedlings. So you do that typically when the seedlings are at least an inch tall. And then this gives them a chance to really, to really thrive. So keep good water, moisture around them. And um, we'll check back in in a month or so. Like I said, bye end of summer they'll be two or three feet tall so they're one of the most beautiful plants to to grow so um, enjoy if you would like more information or to find out more about the garden works project um, check us out on our website at www.gardenworksproject.org and thank you for supporting the garden works where everyone deserves fresh produce thanks